Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. In the place of encounter, you receive more than you ask for. Not only you receive what you ask, you receive more than ask for. He encountered God. Another place of encounter is when we come to God in the place of fasting and prayer. When we come to him in the place of fasting and prayer, not religious fasting, not religious prayer. When we genuinely seek God in the place of fasting, and seek him in the place of prayer with our heart open to anything he will say to us. When our heart is willing to hear him in the place of prayer, not praying religious prayer just to fulfill all righteousness, prayer that you are not expecting an answer, There is a way you become so religious that you can pray for two hours and you didn't hear anything from God. You don't even, you don't even care whether what you are saying, whether he's hearing. You just follow a return. You just follow a return. The prayer I'm talking about is a prayer where you have come to a point you just know there is no other place to get an answer except him. Not when you are praying and you are making alternative arrangement how he will answer. And that's one thing that God hates. He doesn't need any competition. There is nothing you are asking that he's not able Well, if you're seeking my face, you want me to do this, and you're making provision, the person that we used to do it, then you better go and meet the person. There's no point. I am God all by myself. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. I don't need to depend on anything. I can use anything if I choose. When three nations came after Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, he, the three nations were greater than his people and himself. That was when he declared fasting and prayer. At that point, you encounter God because you just know there is no way out. If God fails, you are done. You are gone forever. And that's where God said to him, this battle, you don't need to fight in this battle. In the place of supernatural encounter, God came down and spoke and said, Jehoshaphat, believe the Lord thy God, you'll be established. Believe his prophet. He said, you don't need to fight. Just praise me. Come on, give the Lord a big clap offering in the house. 
I say in the place of supernatural encounter, that's where you hear ridiculous instruction that does not make sense, but just obey in his presence. He said, praise him, praise me, praise me. You don't need to fight. Drop your guns. Just set the musicians, let them worship me. Just like we are doing this morning. That's my confidence that if you're sick, you'll be healed this morning because God is here. As they began to praise and worship him, God came down. And the enemies that gathered against Jehoshaphat and his people killed themselves. When his presence go with you in the month of May, they that conspire against you will destroy themselves. Yeah. Just praise him. Praise him. Praise him. When you encounter his presence, you will hear divine instructions. It may not make sense, but that's what it takes. And the Bible says it took them three days to carry the booties from the war. Angels finished the people. They killed themselves. In the place of prayer and fasting, Hannah came to the altar and her story changed. She only had a word from the prophet. The Lord grant you your heart desire. That's all. In the place of fasting and prayer, she encountered God. Has she not been coming to Shiloh before? Yes, but this time around, no. It's a different prayer. It's a different fasting. Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week is your week of testimony. Unlimited testimony. Somebody shout and receive it. When Jacob came to the crossroad and do not know what to do, he encountered God that night. The Bible says, man wrestled with him. From night till morning, that was a level of prayer. And when it was morning, the man he was fighting with said, let me go. Jacob said, no, until you bless me, you are not going. And that was where his name was changed. I pray for you this month. You will encounter his presence. You will encounter the supernatural. What people call you will change. His name was changed. Situation changed. Circumstances changed in the presence of God. In Acts chapter 12, it was in the place of prayer that the disciples came together and they were praying. The Bible said they made prayers. They manufactured prayers. And Peter was to die the next day. We locked up in the prison. In the third ward of the prison, chains on his legs. Chains on his hands. 
Friend, listen to me. It doesn't matter where they kept you. If you can encounter the supernatural, the chains shall be broken. You will come out of the prison. As they prayed, God sent an angel and Peter encountered the supernatural. Because when it is supernatural, you can no, no prison can stop God. No prison. No prison. No door. No law. No decree. No pronouncement can stop God. He bypassed everything. While Herod was preparing that Peter would die in the morning, God came. For weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. I have this in my spirit to speak to you. April was the end of your night. May is the beginning of your morning. May is the beginning of your morning. As many as we receive this prophecy, May is the beginning of your morning. Your morning has come. Your night is over. Your weeping is over. Your morning has come. Your morning has come. Your joy begins this morning. In the name of Jesus. And the angel came and touched him. The chains fell off. No permission from anybody. God isn't going to consult anybody before favoring your life. If you can encounter his presence. God can bypass your past and just get you out of the prison. The chains fell off and he said to Peter, take that they remove from you. Put on your clothes. Put on your sandal. Follow me. And when they came to the first gate, the gate opened. Second gate open. Don't forget, 16 soldiers were watching over him. I don't care. The monitoring spirit. I don't care who is watching over you. When divine presence appear, every power bows before God. It doesn't matter. The altar they consulted. There is altar that goes against all altars. When they came to the iron door, the iron door, without being touched, at the presence of the supernatural, the iron door opened. I decree this morning, whatever iron door has been used to lock your destiny, if I hear your amen, it opens right now. Whatever iron door used, to lock your womb, to lock your business, to lock your marital destiny. I command it, open now. The iron door opened of his own accord. And Peter came out. Le prosian ad tregesia. Le shitrado le de casa. Can I hear somebody say, I'm coming out? <laughs> and Peter came out. It was the presence of God. Peter didn't know that this is real. He thought it was a dream. He was a dreamer. He thought it was a dream. What will happen in the month of May will look like a dream. <laughs> but it will be a reality. For your generation shall hear the testimony. It 
was provoked by earnest prayer. It was provoked by earnest prayer of the saints. Don't neglect the assembling of yourself together when it comes to congregational prayer. Too many things can happen. When saints come together, he said, we are two or three come together. I mean, they are missed. And if they shall agree on anything, I will do it. By the next morning, hear my prophecy. By the next morning, Herod sent the soldiers to get Peter. 